do you feel like um, at this point of your career, do uh, being Kevin Hart ex-wife, do that help your career or do it hinder your career as a comedian? Um, honestly, I think it's hindered me more so than helped. Mm -hmm. You know, just because, like I said, I, it's kind of like a shadow. True, true ones, no. That's why I said, you know, shout out to Cat Williams mm. for putting me on down to perform in front of 30,000 at the Microsoft. Mm. You know, he knows me. Honey, Tori Hart has made it very clear in the past that Cat Williams has been instrumental in advancing her career in ways that being married to her ex-husband, Kevin Hart, never did. But did they just team up to make sure that Kevin Hart is destroyed forever? You know, I got... That's coming up to me talking about some. I can't believe you doing this, Tori. You f around with the ops. You f with the ops. I was like, listen, okay. First of all, I didn't got dogged out, okay, by Kevin. I got dogged the. F so now. I'm Okay. Child, the shade, y'all. The shade. I know you've probably already seen that Tori and Cat Williams have been working together, and as it seems, they will be working together for a while. So far, Tori has been booked for three shows on Cat Williams's Dark Matter Tour. The first show is on January 27th in Charlotte, the second one on February 2nd in Orlando, Florida, and the third one on February 3rd in Tampa. But here's the thing. Given whatever has been happening between Cat Williams and Tori's baby daddy, there's been a lot of mixed reviews on Tori working so closely with Cat Williams, but Tori also wants people to know that were it not for the support the likes of Cat Williams gave to her, she would not even be having a career in comedy because her marriage to Kevin hindered that. In fact, in a resurfaced clip from her August 2023 interview on the Cali Kickback podcast, Tori was asked if being married to Kevin Hart helped or hindered her career. And without mincing words, she specifically said that being married to Kevin hindered her career. In the same interview, Tori recalled growing up in a household with parents who played comedy sets from the likes of Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy. She said she attended Kevin's first comedy show, and because he got a standing ovation, he viewed her as his good luck charm and said from there, she began going to other comedy shows with him, studying and showing support. As she began to establish her own name and identity, she said she gained attention and recognition from comedy vets like Cat Williams, Earthquake, and Martin Lawrence, who took a chance on helping her further her career. But as far as Kevin was concerned, he only hindered her career. Let's not forget that other than not helping her career, Kevin also cheated on Tori multiple times, including with his current wife, Aniko Hart. Actually, after Aniko forgave Kevin in 2017 for cheating on her, she posted a tribute to Kevin Hart where she said that they had been together for eight years. Yet Kevin and Tori had separated six years before. And when she was asked if she thought Kevin was capable of cheating again, this is what Tori said. Is he capable of cheating again? I don't know. I, I can't say yes, I can't say no, I can just say that if it happened to me, it can happen to anyone. Now I get where some people are coming from with the backlash, and considering what has been happening with Cat Williams and Kevin Hart to some people, it's a little disrespectful for Tori to be working and hanging out with Cat. I mean, Cat has done the most with the shade throwing. Like in his interview on Club Shay Shay, he said that Kevin is an industry plant, alleging that his success has not been organic because he already had movie deals when he got to Los Angeles, and no one in Hollywood has a memory of a sold out Kevin Hart show. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy he club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to LA and in his first year in LA, he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is. The comments even got the attention of Kevin, who gave a very lousy clap back to the comments on ESPN's NBA Unplugged by suggesting Cat exaggerates a lot. Another fun fact about the um, New York Knicks, I don't know if you guys know this, but Cat Williams bought the Knicks. He definitely bought it. He bought the Knicks, yeah. and uh, it's rumored that he took the Knicks back, returned them with a receipt. <laughs> the known fact, Cat Williams has an NBA basketball court in his living room. He's the first to ever really... Oh, yeah. He's the first to embrace a true hardwood floor. Yeah. Remember, Kevin Hart had already responded in a post on X, calling Cat Williams' comments honestly sad. So to a lot of people, Kevin did feel some sort of way about Cat calling him out during the interview. And he also recently addressed the comments again, which means Cat really did ruffle the feathers. Well, like you don't, you don't entertain the circus, you watch it. 
right? And when a lion comes out and rides the bike, you don't think about it too hard. You just go, okay, that's crazy. The lion's riding the bike. And then you go home and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, I don't feed into the stuff at all. At the end of the day, it's it's all entertainment. In addition, other than the comments Kat made on Club Shay Shay, he has taken jabs at Kevin a few other times in the past. Like how he said that Hart kissed some people's behinds and participated in the dress ritual to humiliate black actors, even though he had previously said that he would never wear a dress in the name of comedy. According to Kat, black actors are being forced to wear dresses on screen to humiliate them. And he was even confident enough to call out some of the people who have gone through the humiliation ritual, like Kevin Hart. The new pope is nine-year-old Oscar nominee, <laughs> Kavenshanae Wallace. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I I don't think anyone saw this one coming. I mean, to some extent, I see why people would say that Tori is working with the ops by touring with someone who has openly declared themselves an enemy to her children's father. But you know what? Tori has recently made it very clear again that she is proud to be working with Cat Williams. In one of the posts where she addressed followers' comments about working with the ops, she looked in the camera and flaunted the money she gets from the gigs and was like, Working with the ops? <laughs> so you, you telling me I'm working with the ops? Well, then I guess I'm working with the ops then. In fact, according to Tori, she shouldn't be crucified for touring with Cat Williams because the arrangement is strictly business. And they've gone on the road together before. Me and Cat are friends. We go back like 20 years. We've been friends 20 years. Like, we're so close to the point that Cat has babysat my dog. I had a pit bull, and Cat babysat my pit bull. Chick Knight was, I mean, like, no, we, we go way back to where I'm telling you, like, we have history. She also kind of said the same thing when she was on the Pettyish podcast and made it clear that she's been friends with Kat for over 20 years and there should be no issue with them working together at all. Well, why not? And what makes him an op? I mean, you know what I mean? Like, we're friends. Like mm -hmm. I just said, we've known each other for 20 years. And let's not think, you know, let's not get it twisted. Like... He's put me on shows before. You know, this is not the first time. So to Tori, it really isn't that big of a deal, even though she has received a ton of backlash for working with the op. Now, I know a lot of y'all have also fought with why Tori has kept Kevin's last name while working with the op. And she also spoke out about why she still uses her marital last name. Before saying I do with Kevin, her last name was Skipper, which goes into why she chose to keep heart for her work in entertainment. First of all, it had a lot to do with how she got teased a lot for her her second name. And second, Tori said that she helped build the Hart brand back when Kevin was an upcoming comedian. So she's earned her name. I mean, that's a fact because Tori has been credited with being a significant influence in helping Kevin become as big as he is by writing and inspiring much of his early work in the early years of their relationship and during the start of his career. It's just a shame that the name didn't do much for her when she was still married to Kevin. Anyway, as far as Kevin is concerned, TMZ caught up with him and asked about how he felt about Tori touring with Kevin. And he was like, uh, my success is my success. I want everybody to win. I love everybody. I love that. Once again, you know, your ex-wife is going on tour with Kat. I want everybody to win. I hope the tour is great. I don't know. Does that response sound like it came from someone who doesn't mind that his baby mama is working with the op? And what are your thoughts on Tori working with Kat? And how Kat is the one who helped her career more than Kevin? Sound off in the comments section below.